product not yet rated. The new Splinter Cell is a, is a, is a big change in the, the evolution of the brand. Uh, because we used to see Sam as a special agent hiding in lights and shadows, but now Sam is a fugitive. And a major turnaround of such a concept is the impact on all the core gameplay experience, because after uh, four episodes working on lights and shadow and infiltration types of setups, we are now changing all the core mechanics to support uh, a fugitive experience. And a major change is that in previous Splinter Cell, the goal was to not disturb your environment. As a fugitive, you don't have much gears, so you need to learn how to use your environment to your own benefits. There's some scenes where uh, previously enemies were coming at you and there were, there were not much tools given to you to, to, to overcome such situation. Now you can have close combat, you can run, you can escape, you can use uh, objects in the environment to, to knock out NPCs. Your role and your goal as Sam Fisher is to first try to understand what's happening to you. We've simplified the control so that um, all the options are in the environment and not on the controller. Depending on the locations you are, depending on the opportunities in the environment, the actions will uh, respond to your own intention. Yes, the pace of the game has changed because you used to control your environment. You used to be hidden in the shadow, analyze your tactic and make, you know, and then quickly act in the environment. As a fugitive, there's no time to hide. You need to think faster, you need to move faster. The universe we've been creating, the, the dynamic environment, the crowd management and all this, we call this new gameplay improvisation because everything is nearby and you can use it and you, you gotta think you know and you gotta react. Uh, the game will be out this Christmas on the uh, exclusive on 360 and PC.